An RIT photography professor is getting some attention for a curious contraption. Ted Kinsman designed a digital printer. As Seth Voorhees tells us, it's not off base to ask him regular or decaf. Visit any college campus and you'll find it. Can I help somebody out? Between tests and studying, <laughs> coffee might be the key to survival. Yeah, definitely. I work here, so I, I live off of it pretty much. The same might be said. Could I get a uh, small Honduras? For professors, it's part of Ted Kinsman's daily routine. I think I had about a half cup this morning, and then, you know, you leave for work. At Rochester Institute of Technology's Photographic Arts and Sciences Department. Kinsman is also an inventor. The idea behind this was to, to build a machine that would take a digital image and display it on paper somehow. Something different. I think actually we're running an espresso today. You heard it right. Instead of ink, Kinsman's digital printer uses coffee. You know, I chose coffee for this project is because it's, there's poetry to coffee. For one, coffee brings people together. And beer costs money. You know, you actually have to spend money for the beer. Well, there's always spare coffee around. The coffee drip printer is certainly a curiosity. You know, people notice it a lot more if you talk about coffee, because that perks their, their, their interest. Everybody gets a buzz out of this machine. Because there's a lot of bad puns, you know, it's good to the last drip. All that aside, there is a reason Kinsman built it. It's kind of a goofy thing, and it's not meant to make money. It's meant to, you know, get, get kids interested in programming and electronics and, you know, building things. Darkness of color is determined by the size of the coffee drip. Each image takes an hour or more to print. Well, you can tell this is, this is a little bit different in the rows. And they take a day to dry. And on campus, the reaction? Wow, I'm surprised at how accurate it is and how meticulously it lays it out. Kinsman's art engages the senses. We're at the bottom of the nose. In more ways than one. I guarantee you, you will never get two images that are exactly the same. Best appreciate it with a cup of joe. So it's, it's fun. Works. Seth Voorhees, Time Warner Cable News.